tackle coming across from Faith Nathan bounces to her feet, competes for the ball. But they're there in numbers are the French again. Momentous defence this time. Catholic, the captain. They need to spread the ball, but Grisey's going to go herself and she gets there. The cross does really well, and we're used to seeing Grisey score these women are capable of achieving out there on the pitch and what incredible athletes they are. Speaks to the skill level that we have seen across all teams and across all tournaments. And what a way to finish it here in Toulouse. France deciding to kick the ball deep and is it going to go too far? No, it's not. That's bounced up perfectly. So Madison Levy with a lot of work to do and she just swerves away, gets the left up and she's roaring down that right touch line. Absolutely marvellous sight to see. And while she is going to overtake Grise with the number one tries this weekend in Australia, they are just so dangerous. It was a brilliant kickoff. I love the tactic, but of all women on the pitch, that is not who you want to kick the ball to. Maddie Levi, she's already set the record this weekend for all time tries scored. Her mum said, don't bring me back anything from Toulouse, just beat the record, and she certainly gifted that to her mother. And Madison Levi gets up, pushes the ball back, Dutoit again with another rare start. Hines goes to the right edge, the French defence is racing up Catholic. Catholic's going to run ball in two hands, can she get on the outside? No one, well tries to reel her in. Happy? But she is successful, made it look so simple, did Charlotte Catholic. But really does it all, it's a little in out. She hesitates Noel, and then she puts on the afterburners and has just enough to outpace the French defense. Ball tucks under that right arm, but doesn't even need the fend as she dots over the line. Much better performance from Australia so far, minimizing their errors and capitalizing on the possession that they do have. Just great body position. It was a lovely chop tackle. And then Maddie Levi got her tall figure down over that ball. Really impressive strength shown. Shani Williams running a beautiful line again, standing on her feet. She's having a good game in her first start of this tournament. The veteran, and they've got numbers galore if they can get the ball out why they do so through fake Nathan slips out of the first tackle and Pell just trying to heave her over ball. the sideline isn't going to be successful Lutos is there trying to make a menace of herself at the breakdown Detroit Detroit just carried hard and strong at the line ball in two hands in between two defenders that's the acceleration you want Dom Dutoy on the weekend, but you see her here, ball in two hands, just shaping the pass, and then has the gas to go around the corner. And France playing that seven up style, so they don't have a sweeper in the back. So as soon as you beat that first line of defense. Leave it, you're off. They'll go quickly through Ashby. Tegan Levi onto the field now. She started from the bench, Madison Levi cuts inside that right foot step ducked under the tackle okay, uses the step in back inside in. gets around Amadi. Amadi shifts the ball just swerving around there was Lutos pops it back to Amadi. Felt trying to secure the ball back and that's a good steal coming in from Tegan Levi this time Tegan Levi excellent over the ball and now she moves the ball quickly through the hands. Australia maybe want to get one more in just to put a stamp on this bronze medal performance. Detroit to Tarita and again out to the edge. Just so elusive as Tegan Levi just swerved her hips, passes it. And again, another assist to her sister, Madison Levi. Outstanding showing, picking up a hat trick as well. Sister, sister connection lives on. But Tegan Levi did so well there. She dragged Drouin across the pitch. And Maddie Levi, no stranger to cutting seams, has had an incredible 2023 season. Conversion successful. Well and truly have put the French to bed here. 33 points to seven.